So in this last video, what we are going to see is a couple of illustrations that show you what some of the PCB terminologies that I was using uh, means. And you would come across them anyway when you look through the website of the vendors and hence it's uh, better to be accustomed to those terminologies. So let us look at a couple of uh, diagrams of what they mean. So the first thing is uh, this, it's related with the uh, solder mask and let me open this photo up and then we can have a look at it. So when we have uh, the footprints for particular ICs, say for example, here they show a surface mount devices uh, footprint, but then imagine instead of the pads, they have through holes like you will have on your board, uh, the same definitions hold. So uh, there is this place which is the copper and this is something that is called the pad. After the pad, this white thing that surrounds it is basically the solder mask. This area is called the solder mask. It's, the, it, it, it's an area of isolation between the solder and the pad itself. Then the uh, solder mask clearance is what this area is. And then... Uh, there is this thing, the thing that we were talking about that there has to be a solder mask web which has to be a minimum of uh, so many milli inches for Bay Area circuits. That is nothing but the spacing between two pads along with their solder masks. So that is the uh, solder mask web. And then if we are talking about uh, spacing between two pads, then it may mean two different things. One is the one shown here, the spacing between the copper pads from one edge of one to the nearest edge of the other. But in general, it means the pitch, which is from the center of a pad to the center of the next pad. So that's about solder mask web, solder mask clearance, and what is solder mask by itself and the copper pad. So let's go over to the next thing, which is related with the pads themselves. So you would generally see on a board a pad like this. This is a through hole pad. So in this case, this is basically the copper pad. This is the drill hole. And then this is the solder mask clearance. And this is the solder mask on the rest of the board. And the length of the space in between the circumference of the drill hole and the circumference of the pad is what is called an annular ring. Now this annular ring specification is sometimes provided in lieu of the pad size for some manufacturers. So you should be familiar with the term annular ring. So this is what annular ring is. Then let us go to some clearance uh, issues on PCBs. So like I was saying in that constraint manager, according to what the manufacturer specifies, you have to give clearances for particular uh, things like clearance between two traces, clearance between a trace and a hole, so on and so forth. So the meaning of those terms are this. So let us imagine that this is a hole and that hole is the entire thing inclusive of its uh, pad and its solder mask clearance. Then this is the pin or via clearance. Then between a particular trace and the surrounding solder mask, the difference that has to be always maintained, that is called the line clearance or the space. You remember in Bay Area circuits, we saw something which is called trace space or rather trace slash space width. And that space is this here. And the trace width is width of this trace itself. So that's about that thing. Then let us actually see an actual PCB and I will be able to tell you for sure. So these things that you see around is called the solder mask. This surrounding the particular pad is the solder mask clearance. And then this is the drill hole and this is the pad. This pad is on which you would be putting solder with the solder iron to actually fix your components in place. Then this is the trace and the width of this trace is basically the trace width. Then in between this trace and the solder mask, the width that you see is going to be specified by the setting line to solder mask space. Then in here, like you see the space between two traces and this is also the trace spacing mentioned in uh, Bay Area circuits. So these are some of the different terms that you would encounter more 
often than not when you are dealing with the PCB fabrication and settings and capabilities of the fabrication houses so keep them in mind if you come across any one of these terminologies that you are not familiar with and is also not handled in this video let me know and uh, we can take a look at what that is